What's good, everybody? Another beautiful week here, Smoking the Truth podcast with Stephen Oswald. Oh, yeah. And we got a special guest, Ken Jojo. Jojo. What's up, man? How y'all feeling today? How you guys feeling? Feeling blessed, black, blessed. and highly flavored. Hey, oh. I like <laughs> <laughs> It's a wonderful Saturday, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah, and we got we got this um topic going on around with the you know the president's former president Barack Obama, George Bush, and two other ones taking the coronavirus vaccine. I'm gonna read a little bit of the article that we got here. Pretty much Barack Obama said that I got this from CNN. He said that he's taking the vaccine because he trusts Fauci, the guy you know who who's behind yeah, the coronavirus. Fauci. Yeah, Anthony Fauci. He said he trusts the people who's behind this coronavirus vaccine and he's going to take it in front of a camera live. What did you guys think about this? You think he's BSing us? Well, know? if he doesn't turn it into a zombie or something of some other creature, I think we're good. Right? <laughs> what do you think, Jojo? You think he's, that's the white side hand coming out or that's actually Barack Obama speaking? Um, I think that Dr. Anthony Fauci is a really smart, educated man on a right. whole level. Um, and the president, President Trump should have listened to him on so many levels, you know. Um, but um, <clears throat> when it comes to like Barack Obama, which was a former president, telling yeah. Dr. Fauci, who's recent as a Trump representative, and he represents Trump, you know, so it's a whole different ball game. I mean... To be honest with you, if Barack Obama says he feels like is uh, you know, it's trustworthy, it's trustworthy. But then for me personally, it can be trustworthy for him. But to be honest with you, there are a lot of stuff that's been going on in this past few years, and you got to gain my trust. I really got to trust him again. He's not a president no more, so I can't really rely. I can't really say, oh yes. Uh, I'm gonna take your word 100% and be like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stamp onto it. Right, you haven't right. been, you're not a president no more. There's a lot of stuff been going on in your life, you know, and you can just you can just be saying anything just to gain public uh, awareness or uh, more more followers, more people to listen. You know, it's a lot of stuff, and mm -hmm. depending on the new who the new president is right now, as Bernie, uh, what's his name, uh, Biden, mm -hmm. that can be that can be another factor, you know, because right. Biden just out of nowhere, Trump just left and now they got a vaccine and all this stuff is happening. So now Barack Obama is saying this, he's saying that. So I don't really, I wouldn't really, for me, trust, for me personally, I'm not going to take it. And that's just me. <laughs> what about I'm, for you, Steven? Well, to be honest, I think I'm going to give it some time. I know, like, you know, it's going to be necessary. I mean, because what if you catch the coronavirus down the line and you're not immune to it? You know, I've already came into close contact with somebody. I'm not trying to go back into quarantine and have to do, <laughs> you know, all this other stuff and try and stop my yeah. life. You it's know, not cool. mm -hmm. but as long as you know there's a good turnout on the vaccine, and it doesn't actually harm anybody in the long run. I mean, I think there's like three or four different vaccines out there that were that were on the on the way to approval, and I think there was only one that was at like 97 percent efficiency. Yeah, but remember, you know, like at the end of the day, we all, you know, we've been through this process. I mean, like a while a while ago, like when it comes to making vaccine, everybody at the end of the day has to take it. Yeah. I know at first we all, you know, ah, we can't take this, we can't trust this, blah blah blah, all the side effects. I think it's just based on the scenarios that have happened. Yes. So it, it, it is what's Indeed. causing people's disbelief. Scared, into you know, like what the, what's this, yo? Makes sense. You know? And but I'm looking forward to this to see how it turns out, you know, the president taking. I, I feel like I don't know if we're gonna have, you know, our regular summer back 2021, but hopefully by 2022 we should be back, you know, fully. Well, yeah, I, I I feel what you're saying. It's like it's gonna be like a complete drag coming out of 2020. Mm -hmm. And even into 2021, like we're still gonna be I would like like you said, all up until probably summer and probably fall is when it's going to start really straightening out mm -hmm. like, and, absolutely. and this is like a history as you realize history repeats itself so you really got to pay attention to what's really going on 
but each and, time each time history repeats itself, I feel like it gets better and like they find you find the steps to make it not really repeat itself. Does that make sense? Uh, in a way. Oh, in a way. In a way. In a way. <laughs> Anyway, it definitely, definitely, we are more advanced than before. So yeah. things that's are not going to look, you know, as bad. They're, they're going to look as bad as before. Makes sense. Yeah. So I also have a different topic for you guys. I know this this one about the coronavirus a little, you know, each iffy, you know, because all this va- vaccine. But they'll hear this one out. So the House, you know, the, you know, the House of Representatives is thinking about proving well, marijuana in a way they well, actually already voted to pass the measure they already did yeah so it, the the vote passed 228 to 164 and now it just needs to go through the senate in uh-huh. order for it to finish and so they're gonna pass it through the senate then it becomes an official bill right they're thinking about decriminalizing marijuana on a federal level which is gonna that's be huge huge however we need it to be decriminalized in every single freaking level, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, so like it basically does when it, when it's at when it's at the federal level. Mm-hmm. Basically, they're decriminalizing it, making it something to where it's not gonna they're not gonna charge jail time or anything like that. They're gonna expunge all that stuff, and then they're gonna leave it up to each and every state to decide how they're gonna market it and distribute it and how all their rules and regulations are gonna work. It's all based on states. Hmm. That's going to be interesting. What do you think about that, Jojo? Um, for me personally, like I said, I don't smoke no more. Um, but for the people who do smoke and who are trying to smoke again, when I say I don't smoke no more, like <clears throat> I don't like actually, I don't smoke nothing, cigarettes, all of that. No. Nah. So it's a marketing business. It's all about the profits. So it's all about making money. The government mm-hmm. wants to make money. The reason why they're going to losing money too. Right. True. The reason why they're trying to decriminalize it is because the fact that they are gonna make a lot of profit on it, but also the streets is also gonna make a lot of money off. So it's it goes it's gonna go both ways. Oh win win. The most the most reason why they're trying to decriminalize it is because they're realizing that People actually make a lot of money off this drug. Or off I, this I feel like they should have realized that years ago. So I, I don't feel like it's that they they were afraid yeah. it was going to take over certain other markets. You know, like industries that were already pretty much started. True, it, it, it would tear it all apart. It's like it's like there's so many different ways it could be a viable medicine for people who have seizures and things like that. Like it's, it's worked for I mean, people. you right. got to understand people that run this, you know, people that run the government, they rather have the old ways, you know, to be run by instead of, impl- you know, putting new ways like, you know, legalizing weed and making it an actual market. It's going to take some actual time to these old folks, you know, actually, you know, open their minds to this and be like, okay, we can actually this, use this weed a as a treatment, thing. you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but you just got to show it to them. Like, you can't, you can't just, everybody was pretty much, like, in their own way of thinking, like, we was bad, all this and all that, because, you know, it was illegal. But I feel like once that, that actual barrier is broken, there will mm-hmm. be some people that are struggling, trying to figure out, like, why this happened and stuff like that, but it was just like the alcohol prohibition. Mm-hmm. You know, it remind me just of that. Like, hey. uh, it's not just that. It's also because of, um, in a lot of jobs out here require you to take drug test, and mm-hmm. if are gonna, a lot of people don't smoke weed because of that. Mm-hmm. Because for me personally, that's more. That's my number one reason. Just in case if I want to get a a job, I don't want to have to be. Oh fuck. Uh, I gotta. Oh yes, I gotta be like. Oh no, I cannot pass my test. No, no, no. You know, yeah. I don't. That uh, po- uh, position, I want to just okay. I'm good. Let me just go take the test. Let me just go do this and do that. You know. So, at the end of the day, it is a good thing. It's all about, like I say, it's all about profits. All about making the money for everybody. You know, Definitely. everybody going to benefit for it, medicine wise, uh, health wise. You know, everything is going to benefit everybody in a good way. 
So at the end of the day, everybody's going to be profitable of it. You know, and yeah, it's oh. going to build more new jobs that we need. A yeah, lot of more new jobs. And it's it's a billion dollars industry. You know, is it's natural. You know, I, I would say that even you know, as you see stocks now, the stocks are very low on it. And it you know, this new leaf could really push those stocks up pretty high. Yeah. So and if it is about to pass, it'd be a good time to possibly buy into them. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You do stocks too, huh, Steven? Uh, from time to time, I'll mess with them. I know I got I got somebody that I know that I talk to consistently about them. Just throw, throw back ideas with them. So, yeah, because uh, the, the market of the weed industry, marijuana industry is really like rising. Like, perfect really, right now. It's perfect yeah. to buy right now. Oof. Perfect time to buy a stock right now for a dollar. Five years, give it 10 years, you're a millionaire. Or mm-hmm. you buy 10 of them and then you wait a little bit and then you write an option for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going to benefit a lot of people. But, you know, for me personally, though, that's one of the reasons why. I, um, and not just that, the person that I'm, you know, you say you got to make sacrifices for people that you love. And um, you got some people like, oh, yeah, I don't want you doing this because I don't feel I don't do it. I'm like, okay, that's cool. I'm going to do it for you. But just realize that we all got many sacrifices. So if I'm doing it for you, you got to make a sacrifice for me. But yeah. the, I'm trying to make that person happy, but not just for that, for that personal reason. I'm trying to do it for myself too. So just in case that when I need a better job or so on. And I'm hoping that if it is, if it does become federally, you know, decriminalized, everybody don't have to actually go and take a drug test. It won't be an yeah, option. So- so just like you think about it, they're not gonna be able to like if right. it's if it's something that everybody can have as long as maybe like a that day test type situation that I could tell if you, maybe if you're high that day when you go into mm-hmm. work. All right. But it's like you know just tearing somebody down for their lifestyle. As long as they're a good worker, I wouldn't see any reason why. Right. Right. To try right. And challenge it. Let me tell you guys this one more thing. I forgot I read this week. The NBA is taking off the weed testing. So pretty much like if you're an NBA player and you they're not gonna test you more for weed. So you know, that's a plus for the players. That um what was it that Mike Tyson fight? Uh-huh. He he um he actually admitted to smoking a blunt <laughs> beforehand. <laughs> I don't know if it was Mike, blind. It might have been a joint, but there was a lot of weed smoking at in that arena. <laughs> Mike Tyson, man. Well, guys, this has been another week of smoking the truth. Make sure you guys go check out the Mike Tyson fight. <laughs> oh, so Snoop Dogg. Seeing that Snoop Dogg fight. Snoop Dogg the- was saucy, man. On the on the yeah. Pit Problem, and on. No, no. yeah. Well, everybody, this has been an episode of Smoking the Truth. If you guys like what you see, please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe. You know <laughs> Make sure you guys check down the comments to check, you know, check out social media. Like, like Steven said, we see you in the next episode, and we love you all. See you soon. Take care. See you. Merry Christmas. <laughs>